Greetings, and welcome back to the lab, and welcome back to Freeform Friday, where we're going to work today on the DIY Christmas lights. I'm happy to say that the circuit boards for the bulbs themselves have arrived, and I've tested one of them. Um, I'll put up a render here, and beside that I'll put up, put up a picture of what it looks like at night on the side of the house. I haven't put them out front yet. Uh, I just wanted to verify that the circuit board actually worked before we started getting into building. So here is the overall plan. I've done a bunch of thinking on this and uh, I'm going to throw a bunch of numbers at you and a couple of diagrams. In fact, actually, you know what? Let me, let me go get the new tool, which is the new whiteboard for having more room to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So let's say we're going to have a bunch of lights. Imagine lights in a string, kind of like this. Now, ultimately, I think in my particular installation, there's going to be 28 of these. They're going to be roughly 32 inches apart, something like that. Uh, after thinking about it, I decided if this is the roof of the house, We've got rafter tails coming out probably about every 32 inches. It's not going to be 100% 32 every time. There's going to be some that are a little bit wider, a little bit smaller, you know, something like that. But overall, I think if we have the bulbs hanging below each one of these, I think that's going to look pretty good. It's a compromise between being too close and needing quite a few of them and being too far apart and just not looking right. So it may still be a little bit on the wide side, but I want to get this done this year. I don't want to get myself caught in a situation where I have to make a hundred of these or something crazy like that. Um, 28 is, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's doable. It is now mid-November and if I get everything ordered up I've got some stuff I can start building and that's what I'm going to do today uh, but I'm going to order up more circuit boards the other thing to know is in between each one of these um, there is going to be a coupler board and the idea with the coupler board is that I've got the power coming into one side I got a power coming out going to the next one and so each of these has a coupler and what that also does, if I kind of give you a blown up view of it, and, and I can show you also the render, but the idea with the coupler board is it's shaped kind of like a house. It's got a connector on this side, a connector on this side. It's got a connector in the middle, which goes to the bulb, and a, uh, a hole so that between the connector and the hole I can securely mount the each bulb to the coupler and then there's another hole up above it and what that does for me is it allows me to connect it to the house so I can probably just drive a nail as long as I drive it at an angle kind of coming in instead of coming straight it'll go in kind of at an angle like that so that's the thinking on this let me uh, clean that off and give you a couple more notes real quick before we dive into a build. And so what I ended up deciding is if I'm going to have 28 of these, it just happened to work out. At first I was like going, okay, well, we can have just red, green, and blue. Maybe we'll add white or something like that. And then I've got each of these bulbs has three circles. If I want to try, what I was thinking was I was going to have, I'll have the outer circle, the three, so to speak, then the middle circle, the two, and then the inner circle, the one, and then I'll go back up to the two. But then I realized, okay, I what I end up with if I do that, if I repeat red, green, blue, white, is I end up with red always being three, green always being two, blue always being one, and white always being two in terms of the size of the circle. So if you think of three being the largest circle. So I said, okay, no, I can't have that be that consistent. 
So I've got to add more colors. And what I finally ended up settling on was red. Let me get rid of that. Uh, orange. Which will be a combination of red and yellow. So you can see orange is a transition from red to yellow. Then we'll have green, which is similar enough to yellow that it's not that much of a stretch to go from one color to the other. Then we're going to have an aqua or cyan color, and then blue. And so the aqua will be made up of green and blue LEDs. And finally, we'll have violet. So if you work it out, that's seven different colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, double checking my work here. <laughs> uh, that's seven colors. And those seven colors, uh, if you do it four times, ends up being 28. Very convenient there. Also, if I do this as three, two, one, two, three, two, one, like I was doing up here, then the next time it comes around with red, it's going to be at 2, and then 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, like that. So you can see these numbers are not repeating. That's I didn't want them to repeat. And then if we go back through again, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Sorry, I had to think that through just to make sure I'm cycling it properly. The other thing that that's going to do for me is it's going to give me a big circle followed by a medium circle followed by a tiny circle followed by a medium circle followed by a large circle and you can kind of see this is going to give me this kind of pattern running across the roof line so it won't be all one shape. It won't be all one size of circle. So I think that's going to look interesting too. So I end up with sort of a, uh, in a way, kind of a wave of shape. And I end up with a cycle of colors running across. So I think that's going to look pretty good. I'm not going to know until this thing is fully built out and I have thought these things through before and surprised myself with them not looking as good as I expected. But that is the plan for now. And since I had the prototypes made up and they have worked, and they are the green circuit boards, so that's the other thing I should mention. Let me erase this again. So my options for circuit boards is I can get them made in, let's do this in red this time. I can get them made in red. I can get them made in yellow. Uh, green. Blue. Violet. Or purple, really. Uh, and then also white and black. And so I was thinking, okay, I'll put the red LEDs on the red, I'll put the yellow LEDs on the yellow, green, blue, violet will actually be the combination of red and blue. And so where to put the white and the black? Well, as it turns out, I need something between red and yellow, so I decided, all right, we're going to put the black in here. I guess technically I should put the black on the top there. but uh, And then between the green and the blue, I'll put the aqua or cyan, which is a combination of green and blue. And I'll, oh, sorry, and I'll, sorry, that is the aqua going in. So, okay, that's what I should do. Orange here. That's on a black circuit board. I'll put aqua here. And that is going to go on. If you haven't figured it out yet, here we go. White. White circuit board. So that takes care of all the possible colors of circuit boards I can order from JLC PCB. 
Maybe next year they'll have more options for the solder mask, but for the moment, that is what they've got available, and so that is the overall plan. I'll have seven colors of circuit boards. I'll probably order five of each, so they're technically all prototypes. Uh, I'll probably order them over the course of a few days so it doesn't look like I'm doing something weird and they don't end up charging me extra for it. Um, but I'll order them all up. They'll start coming in. I can start building it because it's to build 28 of these. I can probably build three or four a night uh, before it gets to be crazy. Uh, and then I can start stringing them together. The a uh, couple of circuit boards are on the way. They're not here yet, and I need to make sure that they're going to do what I want them to do before I order more of them. So that's kind of where this whole project is, is I've got a game plan now. I know what colors I want to do. I know what shapes I want to do. I'm keeping it simple this Christmas. Maybe next Christmas or during the year, we can look at making these not just Christmas lights, but... They could be Easter lights. We could try and do pastel colors or something like that. Uh, and maybe by next Christmas, we'll start looking at putting microcontrollers on the boards and, and giving them animations. So instead of being just a circle, they could go from a circle to a square, or they could animate the circle, or they could display messages. I mean, if you put one letter per, and I've got 28 of them strung across the front of the house... I can say Merry Christmas, I can say Happy Holidays, I can say Happy Halloween, or Spooky Halloween, or uh, Happy Easter, or Where's the Bunny? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Various different ideas that could pop into my head. So this opens up some real possibilities for a project that can be expanded. But in order to get this going, I really need to lock it down to something, and that's pretty much where I am now. I've locked it down. I've got the green boards. I'm going to try and build now a three, uh, a large, a medium, and a small circle and get them all wired up and hopefully get that all together in time to release this video for Friday. So, let's get to building. Cue the music. And I'm back. And I put together another 12 volt supply with a little adapter on the end of it because I needed to be able to match up to these without actually soldering into them. 
so that in the end I can actually put these together properly because uh, this is going to be connected to the uh, what did I call it the uh, coupler board uh, I believe that's what I called it anyway uh, that is uh, got the connector there and that's the hole and then there'll be another hole out in further out on the coupler board so ultimately that'll allow me to hook it up but if I want to test them I need to be able to just plug something in and verify that each one of these bulbs works so that's what this is I do not recommend doing this at home uh, in fact I'll caution you that I mean even 12 volts here can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing uh, so once all of the uh, circuit boards are ready to go it should be safer to work with hopefully we'll go through that but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in give it actual power there is no LED to tell me if it's working but I have tested it I do know that it's working and I know the orientation I need to plug it in and there you go we've got a medium sized ring yeah that's not a reliable connection but it's enough to test it out so that's what that one is looking like now I gotta build three more of them and then we'll come back and take a look at the whole selection and maybe I'll figure out a way of wiring them all together or maybe by then the coupler boards will have showed up. And just like that I've got one, two, three, four, let's see if I can get that in the right order. What did I say? I said two, one, two, three. So two, which is a medium, one, small, two, three, but if I actually move these over a bit, I can put in the first one I built, which I did in red. So I've got five of them ready to go. I probably will not actually use this one because I now have a number of circuit boards on the way. Uh, I have ordered up five each of a bunch of different colors. I've still got a couple more to order. Uh, some of them are already done with production and probably just waiting to be shipped. So that's good. Things are working out. I'm starting to get in a rhythm putting these together so they don't take too long. And wouldn't you know, while I was working on all of this, something showed up. Whoops. And here it is. So let's take a look. Get my knife out, ready to go. Oop, that's right, different knife. And this should be circuit boards. If I've got this right, there were actually were two on the way. One was for another purpose. We'll see if this is the one I think it is. Sorry, a little clumsy because I'm trying to do it without turning it over and doxing myself. Don't need a doxing while unboxing. Wow, okay. There we go. Should have used the other knife. And, oops. Looks like I got another one of these. Some packing materials and... Whoops, I got excited and hit the cord that was keeping the camera charged. But here it is, and it's in the easy open style, but for whatever reason, there we go. Let's see if we can do this this time. Yay. These are the coupler boards. Like I said, shaped like a house. Got room to put a couple of the... Uh, Got room to put a couple of connectors on here and another connector in here and ultimately connect up to this. So you can see if I've done this right, all these holes are going to line up and now I've got another hole up here to hang from. So let me see about assembling some of this and I'm going to do a little bit off camera and then we'll come back. Well, that took a little bit of effort and I can see a little piece of uh, insulation sitting on this one right here. Uh, yeah, but it's all together. 
I'm going to plug in the power supply here. And I tested it with a couple of them, but I haven't tested it with all four. And yes, there's a lot of wire here, but the plan is to go roughly 32 inches. But in this particular case, I was thinking about the length of the wire that I had. I ended up with a tiny little piece left over um, here. Sorry, put that where you can actually see it. And um, yeah, so it ends up giving me a, roughly about 10 pieces per roll. Uh, they're supposed to be 10 meter rolls. I actually used the uh, centimeters here and went to like 45 and a half times 2, so 91-ish, and uh, probably stripped a centimeter's worth of uh, insulation. So we're probably at about 95 millimeters for the uh, sorry centimeters for those people that are metric uh, but basically about almost 36 inches I wanted to give myself just a little extra room in case the raptor tails are not exactly 32 inches apart so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my little adapter that I made before I'm going to plug it into another one of these and that will be the power for all of them let's see what happens if they don't blow up and there we go. That is 2123, which was what I had written on here before. So now I've managed to put that together. But the other, oh wait, it's a temporary connection, so it's going to blink sometimes. But the other thing is I can actually pull these off and rearrange them if I want to. So I can make this. Yeah, it's going to fight me a little bit. And so that's going to be the thing. I'm going to be up on a ladder trying to put this together. I, what I was trying to say is I could do it kind of like this. So that would be one, two, two, three. Um, let me see if I can plug these in real quick. Just give you a real demo. Here's the one. Now this is the easier way of doing it. Ultimately, these are going to have bolts running through them also which will help to secure them so that they just they don't just fall off in the wind and I'm having to there we go so and the way I set up the interface actually when I go to plug it in if I'm one pin off it just won't turn on it won't short out but it won't turn on so that'll tell me that I didn't get it hooked up right but there we go we got four of them hooked up I've got circuit boards coming, I got more LEDs coming, I got more wire coming. It also occurred to me that these uh, terminal blocks that I have here, I might be short by a couple. So I may have to order some more. Some more stuff coming in, but I think we're going to wrap up here for this week. And next week, what we'll probably do is go back to the C9 bulbs. I have an idea for those, and I'm also going to modify them so that they actually work in this interface. Uh, the original prototypes were not set up for this interface. Now I've got it. And so the other thing is, now that I've got this together, I can put, and, and I've proven that the couplers actually work, so I can put the designs for this circuit board and for the coupler up on my website, which will be linked below, but it's also, it's bitnotes.com. I'll put that up here on the screen. And uh, there you go. We've made some progress. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.